Howdy, y'all. Today we're heading down south to Mississippi. We're going to attempt some Mississippi mud pie. No, slug burgers. Mississippi slug burgers. So at one time, a slug was a nickel. Or a nickel was a slug. A nickel slug. Slug nickel. And uh, that was back in the Depression era days. And uh, meat was hard to come by. Couldn't just go to the store and get a chub. Um, and what they could get, they'd try to extend it. And uh, one of the ways to extend it was to mix in some breadcrumbs with the ground beef. Uh, now, a popular version that uses pork and flour. I've seen you can even use dried grits, which I might try one of these days if this works. Because, mm -mm, grits. So, we got a pound of ground beef. We got, now, the best way, the true way, is to sit out some crusty bread for a day. And uh, then grind it up. But I can go to the store. And next to the chubs are the crumbs. That's kind of, sort of, a half cup. And normally that's it. You might, uh, um, you might put, um, commonly, mustard, pickles, and maybe some chopped onion on your, on your burger. Well, I don't have to go hunt chopped, or onions, or chop them up, because i got some dehydrated onions, so... I'm going to cheat again and add some chopped onions to the mix. We don't need buns yet. I was distracted by the airplane wherever it is. We live in the middle of nowhere, so it's weird to see or hear a plane coming through. So... I did get me some rubber gloves, and they're sitting right there. I was busy getting distracted and talking and all that, watching planes, and I forgot. <laughs> so we want to mix it in. Normally, when you make ground beef, or anything with ground beef, any meat, beef, the more you handle it, the drier it gets. And, and we don't want that. Um, it toughens the meat. Normally. Even when I make a uh, meatloaf. No, my hands are cold. Even when I make meatloaf, um, I try to handle it as little as possible. Okay, you know what? I should get too carried away cleaning up either. Because somebody's going to have to divide these into burgers. Man, what is wrong with y'all? Fine, I'll do it. Let's uh, move over to the griddle. Okay, the sun's already gone below the skyline. So, hopefully we can finish this up. Oh, that's right. At this point, we're uh, making something. What are we making? Smash burgers. Except we want them even thinner. The idea is 
these uh, the breadcrumbs are going to crisp up real nice on the griddle. That's what we're aiming for. And hopefully these aren't too big. Or too small. This one's just right. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. Somebody's been eating my porridge. Okay. Managed to get seven where normally I get maybe four or five ish. Yeah. <sighs> At least it's not too yucky in the dryer because of the breadcrumbs. You just clean up. Hulk smash! Let's see what we can do. I didn't bring out my press. Huh. Press these out really good, and so far, doing a good job making a mess. Let's see if we can cheat a little. We got spray. Come on, let go. The reason I make the meat the balls first. Okay, these are not getting away for thin. But if you ever cooked a burger and the center isn't as well cooked, so well, when you do the ball, that one did it. It's not squished as much as I'd like, but it's getting hot. Um, anyway, this helps take care of that uncooked center, in theory. And normally I do about 10 seconds of pressing. But at this point, I'm just trying to get them pressed. Good boy, that burn. They stick to my griddle better than they stick to, I mean, to my spatula better than they stick to the griddle. Something like that. So the juices are starting to come through. Oh, look at that crust. And that's what we all love is the crust. That one may have been too soon. Oh yeah, that one's perfect. And wait for the juices to come up through, which is what I did wrong. And... Okay, I think this one's probably ready. Oh, yeah. This one's ready. Look at that. Maybe got some still pickle mustard. I had to try it. 
I had to know. That's a, some may call it a weakness. I call it a strength. I have to try new stuff. It comes out the Trader Joe's. I just gotta, which is, you know, they, the, how they get rich off of rubes like me, I know. Look at these babies. Look at that. Like I said, I, I wanted to squish more and spread out more, but uh, this works. I can't wait. I'm hungry. Oh, you look, oh, you're looking good. Oh, yeah. Crusty. <laughs> Just listen to that sizzle, y'all. What do you think? How's this one look? I think that's close enough for a test run. I can get it on the bun. And I think this one's ready. Turn this off. Slide everyone over to the off side, the cool, cooler side. Like the cool side of the huh? 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 Ooh, that's good. So, a Mississippi Slug Burger. Let's try it with onions and pickles and bun. Like I said, this isn't the official because I didn't make my own breadcrumbs. I didn't chop up onions, but... Mm. You know what? That's good. Mmm. It's really good. Okay, I'm happy. Happy, happy, happy. With my Mississippi Slug Burger. So, thanks for watching, y'all. Uh... Thanks for following, liking, subscribing, sharing, uh, constructive criticism, and most importantly, thanks for feeding my fragile ego. Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye!